Look at Harris's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your PS2 ISO games to .gz format. Uh, this will work with the PCSX2 emulator. Now I realize ISO games also work uh, with PCSX2, but when you convert them into .gz format, it just compresses them and you save hard drive space, which if you're playing games like PS2 games, you know they're rather large, so it's always nice to have any extra hard drive space that you can't. Uh, before we get started, I just want to give a big shout out to Norfair. Norfair is the one who created this batch file. Um, and all I've done to alter this batch file is delete the part where, where it deletes your game after it converts. So once it's done converting, you're still going to have your ISO files as well as a GZ file. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. And it's going to take you to download a very small zip file, 200 kilobytes. And this is the PS2 ISO to gz.zip. What we want to do is right click on it and extract here. And it's just going to be two small files. Seven, seven zip.exe gz.bat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those two files and you can cut or copy. I'm going to cut. And we want to paste them in where we have our ISO games. And this is the second part of the of the tutorial here. So I'm going to paste it in. Now, each of your ISO games must be in a folder in their own folder. So you can see we have Alpine Racer 3 Europe.iso inside of the Alpine Racer 3 Europe folder. My recommendation and the way that I do it is I name I have my ISO named and I match the folder it's in exactly. So they must each game must be in individual folders and then your ISO is inside. And once you do that <clears throat> and you have all the games you want to do and you can do multiple games I'm doing two here. We are going to run the gz.bat So what this is doing is creating uh, a .gz file from the ISO file. So dependent on the size of the game and the speed of your computer um, is, is how long it's going to take. So mine usually take a little bit uh, to actually compress into .gz format. So I'm going to pause the video here. And I'll come back when we are nearly completed uh, the Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader? Because that would be the second one. So I'm just cutting back in here, guys, so that you can see the first game finishing up. And then it'll automatically go right into the second game. So this is Alpine Racer. So it says everything is okay. Scans the drive again. And now it's creating the Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader.gz. So I'm going to let this finish up. And once we get to about the you know mid 90 percent I will come back to you okay so you can see we're at 95 percent of the are you smarter than a fifth grader which is the second game um, just gonna let this finish up and then I'll show you that you're still going to have your ISO games as well as your .gz files everything is okay press any key to continue so I'm gonna I'll just press enter and it closes up so inside of the folder, I now have Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader ISO as well as GZ. So just to give you an idea of, of how one of the main reasons why I use .gz files. So the ISO is 1.28 gigabytes. The .gz file, 92 megabytes. Now it doesn't shrink that much for every game, but it does do a good job at what, at, at what it's supposed to. So for the Alpine Racer, we've got 672 megabytes for the ISO, 434 for the .gz. So we save a little bit of space there as well. So I'm just going to show you guys that they do work perfectly. I'm going to throw them into my Sony PlayStation 2 Classic Edition build. 
So I'm going to take the .gz file. And I mean, it's up to you if you want to delete your original ISOs. Uh, your original ISOs are now contained within the GZ file. And I'll just show you that real quick. <clears throat> so your ISO is still in there if you ever want to extract the GZ. So if you want to delete your ISO, feel free. So I'm going to launch up my PS2 Classic Edition. I'm just going to mute my computer. So this is using PCSX2. So here's Alpine Racer 3. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? So I'll launch Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grader? Now dependent, um, if this is the first time you're running it, PCSX2 is going to build a small temp file for your .gz game. So the first time you'll see this black screen for a short period, then the game will boot. The next time you launch those games, or any game that you've already done this to, it'll launch basically straight away. So I'll back out and I'm, I'm just going to relaunch it to show you that now instead of having that black screen for so long the game is just going to boot up almost instantly. Um, it's taking a little bit, there we go, but the only reason it takes a little bit is because of my weak um, laptop. And and that's pretty much it guys. So I again my hats off to Norfair. Thank you very much for creating the bat file. Um, now, in a previous video, I did how to convert 7-zip to GZ, and which was, again, thank you, Norfair, for that batch file as well. Um, and you can go ahead and check that out. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's that easy. It's an automatic um, process, and there's not a lot of work to do. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.